to Europe. We are very glad to present our project that we did last year with our uh, ninth grade students. Um, first, we like to show you a little video about that. We need a sound. That is a very small town in the middle of Finland. And if you don't know where is Finland, it's between Russia and Sweden in North Europe. Now there is quite cold over there. First snow has already landed, so this trip for, to, for us to Portugal was very nice. Uh, my name is Päivi Mustalampi and I teach chemistry, physics, maths and information technology in Jotsa Secondary School and in Jotsa High School. And I am Johanna Eskelinen and I am teacher of uh, literature, drama and Finnish language as a mother tongue. Our school is the only secondary school in Jotsa. Uh, we have about 200 pupils and 40 teachers. In Finland almost all the schools are public so all the kids from Jotsa area comes to our school at the latest when they are 13 years old. Uh, but now we are going to present you our project Kalevala Goes Science. But I guess first we have to tell you what is Kalevala. Jotsa will, <laughs> Johanna will tell you shortly. Okay. Kalevala is a national epic of Finland, uh, written by Elias Lönnrot in um, 1849. At that time, Finland was part of Russia, so Kalevala plays a significant role to grow in sense of a national identity of Finland. Uh, Lönnrot collected the poems, for example, from east side of Finland and Karelia which is nowadays uh, part of Russia. Um, he traveled around, uh, visited houses, and people sang 
the poems to him. Uh, Lernroot collected poems, made new ones and built the story of Kalevala. The story starts with creation of the world and it includes uh, lots of unnatural things. But still the themes of the story are very classic. There is love, lust and a battle between good and bad. Sampa, a magical artifact, is very important thing in Kalevala's plot. We will tell you more about that later. Um, the significance of Kalevala, the Finnish culture, is very huge. It popularized Finnish language and Finnish culture that was almost unknown at that time. Uh, so all the Finnish students study Kalevala uh, during their final school year. Uh, so we started the project by getting to know the storyline and the characters. And Johanna and students, they of course read Kalevala and they made some drama ex exercises from the plot. At the same time we collected topics from the story that has something to do with science subjects. Uh, we managed to collect 13 topics that we decided to explore. Uh, students were separated uh, to nine groups and every group got their own research topic. Uh, I will tell you more about these topics later. Uh, we had one project day on December uh, when we all explored three of these topics. Uh, but all the other researches were made during our normal lessons, so we didn't have any kind of project week. Just this one day was dedicated to project. In winter we investigated how Kalevala shows in um, our nowadays culture. Mm -hmm. Students also resented their scientific results to whole school and we also did a peer evaluation and we voted to best projects. Luma Center Finland is an organization that promotes uh, competence in STEM subjects. Uh, so, uh, and Luma organizes the Star T competition that we participated with this Kalevala project. So we took part in the Star T festivals in April in Yvaskula. And this competition is the reason why we are here today. Um, next you see the first four topics we collect from the plot that have something to do with uh, science subjects on the left. And on the right you see the scientific questions that the students created of the topic. So this uh, worked like <coughs> mute busters, you know the TV show. Uh, we explored these topics very literally, like if it's possible or not. Uh, like this third one, uh, in the story, a woman called Lohi puts the sun inside the mountain. Uh, of course we know it's not possible, uh, but our group explored what happens if the sun expires. Uh, they contacted the University of Turku, Department of Physics and Astronomy, and they got some answers from professor. Uh, they started to plant peas in uh, different conditions, like in the dark or in the sunlight and so on, and they compared uh, the conditions effects to growing. And there is uh, five topics more. The last one is about kantele, which is a traditional musical 
instrument in Finland. In the Kalevala, they make this kantele from the big fish pike <laughs> jaw. So one of our groups uh, investigated if it's possible to do uh, that way. Uh, one group member goes fishing and he got real jaw, real jaws from pike. Uh, they cut out the jaw and tried to do kantele from it. The surprise was that uh, this jaw is quite flexible and it was very hard to do it, at least in such a short time, so they didn't succeed. It. Uh, here you see the researches we made during our project day that I told you before. Uh, in the Kalevala, there is a competition between two men and they try to sing each other to a swamp. Uh, in one workshop, students make their own swamps and they explore the properties of swamp and measure the time, how long it takes to drown in a swamp and uh, does the object shape has some effects to drowning time. And now is a good moment to show you our website. Here you see the main page of our project. Uh, on the left there are all the uh, research topics. Uh, and so all the students had their own sub-pages. And we'll show you a few examples of the researches. This is the case Lingonberry. Uh, in the Kalevala, young lady eats one Lingonberry. It's this red berry that grows in knot, and she gets pregnant. So uh, one of our groups studied if it's possible to get pregnant that way. <laughs> but, uh, like we all know, that's not how it happens. <laughs> So they started to explore if the berry has some effects to health generally. And they chose the group member Onni as a test person. And Onni ate 100 grams lingonberries a day during three weeks. And every week Onni went to school nurse and his body temperature, blood pressure, and pH value of urine were measured. <laughs> and uh, also, of course, the group looked up information about lingonberries, nutritional values, and so on. They found out that lingonberry contains folic acid, uh, that is a recommended dietary supplement for women that are planning to get pregnant. So eating lingonberries really has some effects for getting pregnant. But they calculated that uh, it's quite much that you need to eat lingonberries. It's over two kilograms a day. <laughs> uh, but we have lingonberries with us. With us. Uh, so uh, I think if you are brave enough, you can test Anette. <laughs> So, if you have courage, you can try and tell us later if something happens. <laughs> uh, for Onni's health, uh, the effects of eating lingonberries were quite small, but there was one really good thing for Onni, and let's hear Onni's comments. Mikä fiilis kahden viikon puolukasyyden jälkeen? Joo, joo, hyvä aina tässä. Alkaa, alkaa päivä päivältä. Maku paranee aina tässä. Alkaa tulla yhä elämään. So we have those berries uh, in our, 
on our stand so you can try them later. Uh, this is the other group, crane group, in the Kalevala. The crane, the big bird, uh, it wakes up the whole village with its voice. Uh, first, this group started to look up information about the voice, like its frequency, volume. Uh, they wanted to investigate if our students and teachers recognized the bird by hearing its voice. So they did some interviewing, like Henrika here. First, this group was very serious about this research and they were quite stuck. Uh, but when we said that it's okay that have some fun with this and do this uh, with twinkle in the eyes, so they got relaxed and um, they found from internet some train karaoke video. And I said, of course you can try it and please film it and put it on the website. So here is train karaoke. machine that brings wealth and money and love to its owner. Uh, so we got the idea that this is where we can combine the coding to this project. Uh, so my ninth grader students, information technology group, they had to engineer the program that works like Sampo and brings some wealth. We did it with Scratch and Python and C Sharp. Of course, we had studied programming before this few months. Our project uh, combined many school chapters. Uh, for, for example, uh, literature, chemistry, uh, physics, home economics, music, crafts, and health education, and many more, as you can see. The aim of the project was the same that is in the curriculum of these subjects. Uh, in Finland's curriculum 2016, these uh, criteria that you see here uh, are for transversal competencies. The idea is that while the student is studying subjects' main theories, the uh, student is also studying these thing, things at the same time. Our project has something to do with all these skills. Uh, First point, thinking and learning to think, learning to learn. Uh, our students needed to think out of the box. How is it possible to investigate something that is so obvious? Uh, they had to make their research questions and plan how they get some results. The cultural competence is obvious. The Kalevala is a national epic of Finland, an important part of Finnish literature and culture. With group rocking and drama exercises, our students practiced interaction and expressions. Uh, students were looking up information from internet, so they were learning lots of source criticism. That is a very important skill in today's world. Information technology skills were improving while students um, 
collected to information and, and results to web pages. And they also made some questionnaires with Google Forms and made traps about them. These last two points, like working life competence and participation skills, were improving during project presentations to audience and also when students evaluated the project had um, peer review of each other's researches. During this project we did lots of cooperation with other officials. Our students contacted uh, many different officials and local companies, depending of, of course on the research topic. I told you before, one group contacted University of Turku, one group explored burning reaction and can a man control a fire. So they contacted local thermal power factory and they got the permission to film a video of the process in the factory. We have done also cooperation with local newspapers and here is important parts like Okka Foundation and Municipality of Joutsa uh, that have helped us to get here today. Uh, this is how you can apply this in your education. It can be your national epic or it can be just some other big artwork of your culture that, uh, that you start to investigate from a scientific viewpoint. We chose Kalevala because uh, Finnish students study, study it during their final school year anyway. It's important that the story is interesting for students and it's important to have fun. Uh, if you are not too serious, students are more creative and they get the ideas of their own. I think we have said enough for at least main parts of our project. Thank you Science on Stage for inviting us here. I believe, sorry, I believe after telling you all in 20 minutes, the project may sound a little confusing. We will tell you more of it at our stand. Come and meet us. We have also a quiz where you can win a nice Yolta bag and a Kalevala guide in English. And if you, uh, of course, if you come, you can play Kantele and uh, taste lingonberries over there. So thank you. Thank you.